guys, it's Jessica Hayes. So if you have been following me for a while, you know that my hair has gone through quite a few changes recently. A few months ago, I had weft extensions that were permanently in my hair or temporarily, but you know, you, you would sleep and, and wash your hair with them. I actually developed tension alopecia uh, in certain areas in the back of my hair. Personally, I have very thin and also compromised hair because I had blonde hair for 15 years um, up until May this year. So really, hair extensions of that kind weren't a great solution for someone with damaged hair like me or even just fine hair like me. So in the past, I have had tape hair extensions and those did do quite some damage to my hair as well. And then a year later, I went in and put the, the wefted kind of microbead extensions in and now I have quite a few well, tension alopecia pretty much is a fancy word for bald spots that are very hard to grow back from hair extensions. So my hair is kind of compromised right now, so that's why I did this big chop, which I love my short little hairdo, but I also love to change it up a lot as well. So pretty much as soon as I got my hair extensions out, I was searching the internet for different solutions to change it up a little bit. Because my hair is so fine, wearing clip-in extensions isn't really a great thing to do every single day because it still is weight on the hair and it's weight in those areas that are already compromised. Change of backdrop so that you can actually see them. So today's video is going to be uh, my thoughts and kind of a review on these Halo hair extensions from Hidden Crown. I did feature these in a favorites video a few weeks ago and everyone said that they wanted a little bit more of a lengthy version of how to put these hair extensions in and how easy they are. If you've never seen a Halo hair extension before, what it is, is it's basically hair extensions but on a little thin piece of fishing line just like that. So when you get them, this is really long and you just kind of measure it to your head and then you pull the fishing line to the, wherever you want it to be and then you kind of squish this little bead together and secure it in place to how tight you want it on your head. It's not just one kind of straggly piece of hair, it's actually one long piece of hair and then two kind of shorter ones, like shorter in width sewn onto it like that. This style that I have is called the Daydream. The difference between the two styles that they have on their site is one is double drawn and this one is a little thinner on the bottom of the hairs, which for me, I already have super fine hair. I'm not gonna be kidding myself. If I did go for something that was too thick or too long, it would look so obvious that I'm wearing hair extensions. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, make sure it's the same length on the sides of the head here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just snug that over my head, pull that wire down a little bit, and then that's what it looks like right there. And then pretty much all you do is get a fine tooth comb. They actually give you a little comb in the order. And so the wire is there about an inch and a half away from the hairline. All I'm gonna do is get that fine tooth comb and just flick out my hair around the wire. And also around the back of the head too. Kind of comb over that part a little bit so that no pieces of hair are stuck into the wire and then you're just going to brush and smooth your own hair out over the halo extension usually what i do is just use like a little bit of um, styling cream that's got a little bit of hold in it just something very light and just kind of smooth these ends down right here. So I just started off with my hair kind of straight and blown out uh, to match the hair extensions. If you're going to, you can actually curl the hair extensions. I would use like a one inch barrel or something and then just do the ends of your hair as well. Um, I actually don't like using heat on my hair at all. So I skip the curling stage. With this side of my hair, because it is the shortest side, what I usually do is I just take this little piece and I actually twist it and pull it back and then just kind of clip it into the hair extension just there with a bobby pin 
This side of my hair is a little bit longer. I've kind of got like a long fringe on this side. Sometimes I tuck my hair behind my ear as well. So that is the Hidden Crown Halo Extensions. If you think that I've made it seem easier than it is, I absolutely have not. This is the kind of thing that I will throw onto my head just before I run out the door with like two minutes to leave. It is so, so, so easy. Like I said, I do have clipping extensions and they do look good, but sometimes I just cannot be bothered with the time and effort that it takes to pop clip-ins in. That is it. I swear it is so so easy. I am not good with hair at all. Makeup is my thing. So spending a lot of time on my hair after I've spent a bit of time on my makeup is just no. So these are so, so easy, so quick to do. The line of the fishing wire is so undetectable. You can't even see where they go in at all. So if you have short hair, this is a really good option. On the website, it does recommend not to go too much longer than your actual hair. I think it says don't go any more than twice as long as your actual hair length. So that's why this is the shorter length. I think it's like the 12 inches and this is perfect for me as well. I love how it just gives the hair a little bit of body, a lot of length. And you can also do like different kind of styles with it as well, like back in a ponytail or something if you want a ponytail for the day. I've even done like a really nice kind of twisted bun with it too. So these hair extensions are real hair, so you can use heat stylers on them as well. I would just recommend to use a little bit of heat protector on it too. The style that I have, like I said, was the daydream style, and this color is 1B. I use Pravana 1B to dye my hair, so hopefully that will help some of you with color. I'm gonna leave all the information for these particular hair extensions down in the description box below but if you guys have any questions at all please make sure you leave them in the comments box and i will be sure to answer them so i hope this video has been nice and informative for you and maybe i've changed your hair game it's really fun to have short hair i love the look of it but it's also really fun to change up your look a lot with hair extensions and other fun things and such thanks always for tuning into my video make sure if this was informative or helped you to give it a thumbs up for me and I will see you guys shortly for my next video. See you later.